Hey guys, today I wanna to show you how I decorated my woodland mantle. We decided this year to partner with Pier One to decorate this mantle. We went and we bought their really adorable glimmer lights. We bought some decor that we can use throughout the year and a couple little Christmas ornaments and picks that will really tie everything together with our woodland Christmas tree. You can check out that tutorial too. Please like this video and subscribe so that we know that you want to see more videos like this. Let us know in the comments what you would like to learn how to decorate for future videos. Okay, so I'm gonna get started by showing you all of the products we used and um, we're gonna kind of flip back to the time when there wasn't anything on the mantle. And then we'll just kind of go through putting it together and show you how to do it and how you can make your mantle look good too. So I have these little glimmer strings from Pier One. They are so cute. This one is white wire spheres. There are these little glimmer strings and they just, like you can see on the back, they just have a little dot of light. They're LED lights. And then I loved the um, little glimmer stars. So then I have this grapevine star that has twine and like a little metal structure underneath. I actually almost want to put this at the top of my tree but I don't think I'm gonna mess with that right now. I just will probably put it on the mantle. Okay, so like we have in our rustic tree video, which I will leave a link in and you could probably grab it up here, we have more berries. I love these berries because they have glitter on them and they're so cute. I love these star ornaments. I have a few of these. I like them because they're good um, plane breakers. They're not linear, they're not horizontal. So these are kind of cool. They are like twigs and they have glitter and snow. So they're pretty for this woodland theme that we've been going with. All right, so we have a couple little woodland creatures. These are just um, ornaments and they're so cute. Beautiful little spheres, containers that are not necessarily Christmassy, but um, useful in other ways. Lastly, I have this gorgeous cake stand. So we're looking at this surface. We do have a TV to work around. A lot of people have their TV above the mantle, so I think it's a good natural problem that all of us have to deal with. So there are about five points that I'm gonna be working on today when I decorate. First, I wanna add light. I wanna have low items and I wanna have some tall items. We need to have some strange shaped items to break the planes of just flat and vertical. And then we might create some triangles. So that's gonna be the goal for making this look right and balanced. So we're gonna start with the bigger items. We're gonna think about tall items, medium sized items, and just giving a little bit of variations in height. When you put something up, often you have to step back and look at it. When you add other things, you might realize you need to move something. So don't be too married to these positions every time you put something down. All right, so we have our main items on the side, and now we've gotta think about, you know, we have some height, now we've got to think about grounding it. And I'm going to go really light with the lower horizontal stuff, so hopefully it works. So now we have the red, we have the tall items, we have the horizontal items. We want to add some little pops of color. Okay, so after testing the glimmer lights in the garland, we definitely like it. So we're gonna keep it. So I'm gonna um, work them into the berries so we don't see the string as much. So the steps for decorating the mantle are good for any season, getting your high elements, getting your low elements, getting some plane breakers. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching and um, please subscribe to our channel and like this video. Please leave us a comment on how you plan to decorate your mantle.